seriously, look me in the eye and try telling me this is not the most beautiful makeup look I have ever accomplished. Actually, let's go one further. Try telling me. Look me in the eye. Go on. Look me in the eye. Try telling me. This is not the most beautiful, magical makeup look you have ever seen in the entire world. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Enough of that. Hi. On a, on that note, like this is my hair. <laughs> we don't like it here. <laughs> so I am just popping in to do a little uh new wig unboxing video because I did my makeup to put the wig on and I thought well I might as well do a quick wig review and unlike most of my wig reviews that are like really long because I'm reviewing multiple wigs this is just one wig and it's in addition to my Webster wigs walkthrough review because I bought some from them separately and then I got this one for my birthday so it's it's time <laughs> This is my kind of flex culture right here. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, we're looking at a wig from Webster Wigs today, so I just wanted to unbox it. I mean, it's not really in a box, it's in a bag. <laughs> but I did my makeup based on the wig, so if you think this is beautiful, you're gonna love the wig. Oh, um, a few people have asked me because I like, I wear contact lenses pretty much all the time now. I get all my contact lenses from Funky Lenses. I'll put links in the description. <laughs> Yay. Uh, and most of the ones I get are like 90 day prescription. Oh, they're not prescription. <laughs> they're like 90 day ones rather than like just wear them once and throw them away because it's so much cheaper to buy 90 day ones. So yeah, anyway, let's, let's do this. I got this for my birthday. Basically, the way Webster Wigs works, I'll, I'll, I'll put it up on the screen, the way, oh, uh, here. Hey. If you are new here, hi, I am not Chris, I just want you to believe I am. <laughs> I'm Kez, hi, and, uh, uni, mm, 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 mm. no, we're dropping things. I'm a klutz, it's okay, everything's fine, ignore me. You are new here, hi, hello, I am Kez, nice to meet you, hi, what's up? Uh, and here's some unicorns. Oh my god! Together. That makes Kez and unicorns, <laughs> magical. Today's, oh, today's featured unicorn da, da, da. is... What's your name? I don't believe you've told me your name yet. I'm a unicorn! Oh, okay. This is Crystal. Hi. I'm a unicorn! Welcome, Crystal, to the channel. She is our featured unicorn today. <coughs> Yay. Okay. Oh, look, she's, she's in shot and everything. Uh, my studio don't... Don't get me started on how miserable and depressing this makes me. But just wait until, like, it's done. I've moved house, okay? It's a whole new thing. So just, yeah. Anyway, the way Webster wigs work is they basically have a style of wig. For example, this is the Candy Crush wig in the Amelia. But you can equally get the Candy Crush wig in a whole range of other wig styles. So the Amelia is long, straight, comes with a warning label to boot. <laughs> It's great. And then there's other ones like I have this black one in Lily. This peach one. I can't remember exactly what it's called, but it's on the screen. And I have that in a like this one. So that's the way it works. So this one that I got is called the hologram. Not to be mistaken with this hologram wig that I have from Rockstar Wigs. <laughs> different and I have it in the Amelia because unlike most wigs where you either get like one color or it's like half and half or it's ombre this is 
This is literally like random patches of color. It's beautiful. So I got it in the Amelia because it's super long and dead straight. So you can really see all the like different <laughs> colors, I guess. Webster wigs also come in these really lovely wig bags, which are really great for storing wigs. So make sure you keep them and store your wigs in them. So this wig was 70 pounds, which almost all their wigs are 75 pounds. Their lace front ones anyway. Their hard front wigs, I think, start from 45 pounds. I don't have any of their hard front wigs, but not for any reason other than they don't do as many styles in hard front wigs as they do in lace fronts. So this is the wig just taken straight out the box bag 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 look at those colors so and it's it's long Okay, we're not gonna lie and pretend it isn't it's long and I'm sure I'm four foot eleven if you didn't know so this is like as long as it comes, it pretty much comes down to my knee. So there's that. Anyway, I am going to trim the lace and pop this on my head and that that will be that. Cool. Here you go, Crystal. Yeah, you, you look after that. <laughs> oh. So as well as in your bag, you'll have, it comes with bubble wrap. Oh yeah. I cannot get enough bubble wrap. Just, just one, once more, once more. comes with this little leaflet that basically tells you how to take care of your wig. It's nothing particularly revolutionary. And a wig cap. Which is great if it's, you know, your first wig. When you start collecting wigs. <laughs> I have so many wig caps. Stop it. Get some help. But I'm telling you, I'm telling you, there is a legit difference between each type of wig cap. Maybe I'll do a video on it. The pros and cons of each type. Of wig cap. So this is like um like a, a, a why are we still here? Nylon? A stocking? <laughs> Hi, I'm a grown adult, I I promise. <laughs> right, I'm going to pop my wig cap on. So many people literally ask me how I put wigs on. I, I don't really know how to answer that, but I am gonna say, oh, it comes with two. How exciting. I need to get out now. It's quarantine. Quarantine's making me mad. I don't think it is. I don't think it's quarantine. If you have long hair, you might want to put it in braids, but I'm doing a whole like wig tutorial series. So, and as we got bored in quarantine and my hair was a nightmare, Chris just decided to lop it all off and it looks hilariously awful. Okay. So once you've popped the lace off, you're going to notice the lace comes all the way down here. So it literally comes down to like here, which is awesome. And you have clips to either side, which go just in front of your ear, and then one at the back. And then these you can adjust depending on your head size. Cool. I'll be back in a minute with it on. One second, I'm filming. Shh. Oh. And here is the wig on my head. I can't, I literally cannot. <laughs> 
it's really long, <laughs> okay? <laughs> it's really long. Um, I actually want to turn the light down a little bit because it's making you look very, very white. You can see all these colors. I'll show you from the back. I wonder how far away I can get. Can you see it all? Who knows? I don't know. I won't know till I'm editing. So. I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> it's super long, I'm gonna tell you, like, these come with a warning label for a reason. <laughs> like, unless you're willing to go to the Wiglympics, don't buy an Amelia. No, you should buy an Amelia because they're gorgeous. The synthetics are amazing. <laughs> Legit. I just moved house and I can't find my wig tape. So if you wear front wig... <sighs> I can't breathe. <laughs> If you wear a lace front wig, then you are mm, generally going to need to use either wig glue or wig tape to stick it to your head, as I have done here. See? But I can't find my wig tape, and I much prefer wig tape personally. It's just so much easier, and when you're using wig glue, sometimes, especially on a wig this long and with this much hair, when you're using wig glue, the hairs can, like, get stuck in it and then you have to like brush them out, use one of these or Webster, do Webster wigs, use one of those so you don't ruin your wig, uh, but just be mindful of that. But yeah, these have a lot of hair, like a lot of hair. It's heavy, heavy. So these are super thick. I mean, they're not too thick. It depends how thick you like them. I like as much hair as possible, so I like them, but I will just say they are incredibly thick. They're very heavy. So, I mean, you may want to thin them out depending on your personal style, but I think they're amazing. I genuinely, so you'll know I love Rockstar wigs. I love Rockstar wigs, but I genuinely don't think a synthetic wig can get much better than Webster wigs. You did it! Congratulations! I really don't. And for £75, which is probably, what, like $100, they're incredible. You are <laughs> yes, they tangle, but wigs and, you know, <laughs> actually hair tangles, <laughs> so why wouldn't we? <laughs> and especially when, when you get one this long, they are hard to style. I did this one as a top knot, Candy Crush as a top knot, and because I don't have a wig head clamp, Thing. I had to do that on my head and it was next level difficult. I'm getting a, a wig thing though so I can actually style them properly. But yeah, I did just want to make that pretty clear. They don't, you don't get much shedding, which is brilliant. And they're just, they're beautiful quality. They really are. They really, really, really are. Chris, just one second. Okay, also, side note, random addition to this video. <laughs> when I say it has a warning label, take it seriously. I just walked down my hallway and my hair got stuck on every door handle <laughs> between me and the end of the hallway. So it was kind of like, oh, oh, yeah, so. Proceed with caution. But it will be worth it, trust. Okay. I am in love with it. I'm in love with all of them, but this one, I just... Two hours later. I'm just gonna lower the light a little bit more. I'll pop a couple of pictures up so you can see what it looks like without like a, a light shining right on my face. Um, but yeah, amazing and um, yeah, that, that, that's pretty much it. Chris kind of thinks I look like Lady Death, um, but you know, I'm gonna take that as a compliment. 
because you know shinigamis are cute or whatever uh yeah but yeah it's super long i love it i'm literally obsessed with it i just i love the fact <laughs> that it's like just random spots of color it's almost like you know when you get like a white canvas and then you just like <clears throat> paint all over it yeah that's that's how i feel with this wig so <laughs> There you go. Uh, Chris got me this for my birthday. I am in love with it. You'll probably see me in it a lot. So enjoy that. <laughs> they are also heat resistant. So ideally, I, I kind of want to flatten this a little bit, but there's not much that I want to do with it. I wanted this one because it's long and straight, but you can use heated products on them. Obviously, as always, like be gentle start off on a low heat setting and then if you need to go a little bit hotter in increments because otherwise synthetic will ah, you cursed brat look what you've done i'm melting melting melt so unless you're making a dreadlock wig don't do that but yeah i am absolutely in love with webster wigs in general i don't I don't think synthetic wigs can get much better than this. And as I said, this one, the way it's not ombre or half and half, it just has these like random patches of different shades of like pink and purple and there's bits of blue in there. And I just think it is magical. So magical. So <laughs> Yeah, I don't really think I have much more to say always use a wig comb they do also sell brushes on there um it's always not for, uh, brush from the bottom so that you don't lose any or cause big knots or whatever because as i said when you are dealing with this sheer amount of hair in this wig especially not just length wise but, but thickness wise it is going to tangle so take that into account and obviously like you could thin it out you could, you know, feather it at the front or add in some layers if you really want to, but they have so many different styles. I think they have one called Chloe that I think is a really nice one and a Blair, which is a really nice one for the hologram. But yeah, so if you want to comment anything, comment, please do. Like, let me know what you think of the wig. Let me know if you've used Webster wigs before, what you think of Webster wigs, if you have any questions about this wig or Webster wigs or wigs in general, pop that in the comments too. If there's anything you would like me to include in my wig tutorial series or a wig video you would like to see, like I've been thinking of doing one where I get similar wigs at different price points so that you can kind of see what you're gonna get depending on how much money you spend. Um, I've also been thinking, like I'm gonna do a complete wig collection at some point. I've been thinking of doing like a half and half wig collection. But yeah, like if there's anything like that that you wanna see, let me know. I also cover mental health on this channel quite a lot. I'm very open about it. And I also do social commentary. So if you're interested in that, hang around and uh, have fun and enjoy the content. I am working on a wigs tutorial series and I do have some other wigs coming up. So if you enjoyed this random, I don't really know what this video was to be perfectly honest. Uh, just me being a random doofus really, which is a lot of my content actually. So if you like that, <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe, turn on post notifications because at the moment I'm not, I don't have a regular upload schedule yet so I can't tell you exactly when but also when I do start doing my lives again you'll get notified of that. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram as well just because pictures and hot takes. <laughs> I am Kevin Unicorn everywhere because that just makes it easy for me. Link for the wig will be, oh, actually they're out of, last I checked, they're out of the Amelia of hologram, but I will link to the main hologram so that you can easily go and look at the wigs if you want to. I don't know if you want to, but that's really your call. Uh, if you want to watch more wig videos, you can watch this playlist. If you want to watch anything else on my channel, go take a look, have fun. It's quite varied. I hope you have a great rest of your day and um, arigato gozaimasu, big kiss from me and Crystal. I'm a unicorn! Keep on unicorning. And again, try and tell me this isn't the most beautiful makeup look you've ever seen.
Kanye. Bye.